Onion is a great natural remedy that you can use at home. I have a small baby and I always use onion whenever it's needed. In this presentation, we're going to be looking at natural remedies. When aches and pains happen, when little accidents happen, there are some simple things that you can do to bring relief, but not only bring relief, also to boost healing in the body. So we're going to look at a whole lot of little things here, and I have a table full of goodies here. The first one we're going to look at is the humble onion. I think every home has an onion. And I will never forget onion because it is the first natural remedy that I ever did. I think I related the story when I was giving the story about how I got into natural remedies about how my daughter had an earache at the age of 16 months and after six weeks and four courses of antibiotics later, her earache came back. So when my second child had an earache, I didn't go to the doctor this time. I went to the old lady next door. And I said to the old lady, what did your mother do when you had an earache? She said, mum would steam up an onion on the stove. She would keep the, the two ends. There's a hard end that the roots came out of. And this is the top end where the stalk came out of. The best is to steam it or dry bake it. If you boil it, some of the healing properties could go into the water. And then you cut it in half like I have done here. So you're, you're looking at two sets of rings. So what you do is you steam it. And when you've steamed it, it will be very hot. And then you can squeeze it. And it'll be boiling hot, the, the onion. But the hot juice will go into the cold spoon and that'll get it just the right temperature. And you can put those few drops in the ear. And then you wrap this onion in a cloth. And you wrap it, the cloth over a few times the onion will cool down quite quickly, so you just keep feeling it until it's the right temperature and then put it on the ear. You put it on as the person can cope with it. If it's still a little bit hot, you can use another cloth and put a few more layers over it. And when you have put it on the ear and it's the right temperature, then you get a square of plastic and you put that over the over the onion. The reason why you put the plastic over it is it'll keep it warm and you can keep this onion on for as long as you can keep it warm. When it gets cold you must take it off. Part of the comfort that it brings is the warmth but onion is a drawer and so the, the heat from the onion and the drawing power of the onion bring great relief. Sometimes it'll draw the pus out so that a little hole is made and the pus will come out through the eardrum. If the body makes a hole, not a problem. If something's poked in the eardrum, that, that's a problem. But if the body makes the hole, the body can quickly heal the hole. Sometimes you may need to apply the onion poultice a couple of times. Sometimes once is enough. And I know with my second child, James, when the little old lady next door, I think I was 26, she was about 86. When she told me about it, I did it immediately. James fell asleep. He was being breastfed to sleep and I had the onion in the, in, against my arm so I could feel the temperature and against his ear. And he settled right down. It seemed to bring him much comfort and he fell asleep. And when I lay him down on the bed, I laid him so that he was on the, on the ear. I put a towel, folded up a few times because I knew that would keep it warm. James slept for two hours. So what does that tell you? He's, he's getting relief. When he woke up, he was happy. I watched him all that day. I watched him all the next day. He was happy. Now my partner said, I'm not sure it's that ear. Whenever he would cry, he said, it might be that ear. So I took him to the doctor. The doctor looked in the ear that had the ache and said, the ear is totally clean. He looked in the other ear, it had a little wax in it. So that was my confirmation that the onion poultice had done the job. So no wonder I went into natural remedies when I compared the difference between six weeks and four lots of antibiotics and a two hour 
lying in poultice where the child slept. One must also look at the cause. What was the cause? Well, I discovered that my children were teething and sometimes the teething can cause um, the new station tubes to be a little blocked. I didn't, didn't notice with any of my other children, but by the time my other children came along, we had stopped having dairy products in our diet. And dairy products, cow's milk, is known to build up the, the blockage in the eustachian tubes. It's known to cause an excess of mucus to be produced in those tubes. The eustachian tubes, they, they basically connect the nose and the mouth and the eyes and the ears.